Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today I've got something very special for you because like as we all know Apple is the number one cell phone manufacturer at least in my eyes. They are so perfect and like for example the Apple logo I just love how this thing looks and because of that I also love how the Macs look with the lightning Apple logo on the back like you know those old MacBooks and unfortunately Apple discontinued those lightning logos on the back because they introduced the OLED displays and the Super Retina displays and whatever and like this kind of annoyed me so then sometime I saw on the internet a guy that like he switched his iPhone so it has a lightning Apple logo on the back and I was like oh my god I have to do this myself and this is so cool and like this is what this video is about and this is the lightning Apple on an iPhone 7 plus this mod can be applied to every iPhone from the iPhone 5 all over to the iPhone 7 Plus. And it also is possible with the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S, but for those the procedure is quite different, so like just stick to this one. And it unfortunately is not possible for everything above the iPhone 8 because like also including the iPhone 8 because they all got a glass back and like it's very difficult to peel off the apple on this back and like it, it simply doesn't work like just buy an older iPhone or something. And yeah, let me show you how I built this. First we want to have a look at what's inside the package. So you get some screwdrivers, you get some guitar picks, a suction cup and a small paper envelope and inside of here we got a small translucent apple and also the led panel and of course also some instructions with detailed information on how you can apply this mod to your iphone but before we can start like you will always have to turn off your phone beforehand because we do not want to fry any of the electronics inside of your iphone and after that we want to remove the two screws on the bottom of the device at the lightning connector and you have to use a pentalobi screwdriver for this and after you've got those screws um, like removed simply put them aside so you don't lose them next we can put the suction cup on the display and simply a pull on the display like so we can get those guitar picks inside of here and like do this very slowly because you do not want to mess anything with here because like if you do this too fast then you may break your display or whatever so do this slowly and one after the other and maybe you will be stuck on one side like here for example for me the top side isn't going to lift up very well so it's always a good idea to use a hot air gun to heat up your device and to make the glue a little bit more soft and after that simply apply more pressure and use the guitar picks again and if you have successfully removed your display you can open up your phone and we can start to take it apart okay here's something i have to tell you because like after the package arrived i was like so super excited how this may turn out and i went straight down to my workshop and started ripping my phone apart and like after i ripped the display open i noticed that apple introduced some new screws in their iphone because like if you want to remove the battery for example or the lcd then you need a special dry point screwdriver and like in my whole collection of screwdrivers i didn't have anything that fitted here in this place and i was so super annoyed and i felt maybe like i can order one myself and i looked it up on amazon and like those are very cheap like eight euros or something but the problem was that the earliest possible delivery date was one day later and i was like oh no i i, I simply cannot wait for that and I went straight up to my car and like I drove to the next mobile phone repair store and I said hey guys do you, do you got those screwdrivers and he said yeah well okay and I said oh yeah please please sell them to me I, I would like to buy them so much and he said okay well okay yeah yeah we, we can do that and I was so super happy and the guy was also very fair and he sold me those two screwdrivers for like five bucks or something and I was so happy and I drove back home and back into my workshop and I continued to build and then everything turned out successfully as you have already seen. With the new screwdriver I was finally able to dig up into the phone's electronics a little bit more. You want to remove this metal plate here in order to disconnect the battery connector and we also want to disconnect the display connector and the touch ID connector for the home button as well 
and the digitizer connector. And after we did all this, we can continue with removing the battery so we can access the back of the phone. Those little adhesive straps can easily be taken out if you pull them slowly. And after that, we want to remove the Apple logo. To remove the Apple logo, you can simply take a small kitchen knife or a workshop knife or a flathead screwdriver, whatever, and you just pry slowly on this Apple logo so you can take it out and do not destroy it. And after that, we want to exchange the original Apple logo with the translucent Apple logo that was given in the kit. And you have to peel off the adhesive in order to glue this into the phone's case. And after that, we also want to install our main PCB with the LEDs installed and the touch circuit and whatever. And you can simply put that in between the battery connector. This um, thing gets also sandwiched between the speaker and the case, so make sure that everything looks exactly like in this picture. And after you did this, it's finally time to reinstall the battery and put the whole phone back together. And after you did this, then, well, just put all the screws where they were before, close up your phone and, of course, test it like turn it on and see if it works before you close it up completely because we want to make sure that the touch screen works the digitizer works um, the touch id works and like everything is just okay and here you can already see that the apple logo on the back is glowing the logo can be turned on by double tapping it like as you can see here double tap and the logo is on double tap and the logo is off and this also works in RGB mode, but I find the white mode more interesting. And to make that very clear, it looks so cool in the dark because, like as you can see here, it is so bright and everyone will notice it. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video then please leave a thumbs up or consider subscribing. And if you know a friend that may be interested in this video then please show them because like I find this so cool. This is like oh my gosh okay see you next time